What is up ladies and gentlemen, CJ the Cheese DJ here and we're back with another ARK Insight. And today we are taking a look at something a little bit different. We are comparing two weapons once again, we've done this before in the past. And today we are comparing the Harpoon Gun versus the Crossbow. And we're going to determine which one is better in terms of damage, torpor. As you know, the Harpoon Guns have Trank Bolts, Spears, I guess you could call them. And the Trank Arrows is what you use for the Crossbows. Now you also have regular Harpoons, or whatever you want to call them for the harpoon gun. So we're going to determine which one is better and whether or not the cost is worth it. So let's get into the video. We've got a trusty Megalodon test subject right here. He's ready to take lots of pain for us and if he dies well, we'll just spawn in another one. All right, so first up, we're going to cover the base grounds of the damage. Now we've got the regular stone primitive crossbow here and we've got a regular stone arrow lobbed into it. You can see there, 95 damage. Now, I don't think Megalodons do have a damage modifier on the head. Some creatures do underwater, although I don't think the underwater creatures actually do, now that I think about it. But you saw there, we dealt 95 damage to the Megalodon. Now, if we come into the Harpoon Launcher and fire that, 277 damage is how much we do. But you can see there, there is a little bit longer of a reload time on the Harpoon Launcher, managing to get it in. If we take a look, quick comparison here, you can see there, one, two three seconds you're ready to fire again we come over into the harpoon launcher and we fire one two three four so the five there's about five seconds so this is about two seconds in terms of reload speed between the two however that's not much of a difference in the long scheme of things especially considering that the harpoon launcher does deal 277 damage you can see there 277 damage alrighty so now that we've got the regular base damage ones under control, let's take a look at how much the torpor inducing arrows and things do. So if we come into the inventory, torpidity is zero. We're going to lob a trank arrow straight into the shark. I didn't see how much damage I did. We're going to look at the torpor, still going up. 130, 140, what is this going to sit at? 157.5 is how much torpor a single trank arrow did to a megalodon. 157.5, so remember that for later on. Now what we're going to do next is we are going to test the Trank Spear on the Harpoon Launcher to determine if there is a significant difference in terms of torpidity. Okay, so the shark's stamina has depleted to zero. Where is it gone? We've lost the shark. I repeat, there it is, right there above us. So the shark's torpor has depleted to zero, so now we're going to lob the Trank Harpoon into it and see how much it does. Now, take in mind the arrow did 157, we're going to see how much a Trank Spear does. Okay, already it's at 300 torpor, let's take a look here. 306 torpor, so essentially, pretty much double that of a Trank Arrow. So that is actually pretty decent. However, what you've got to factor into this is the cost of the items. So that's exactly what we are looking into right now. So to actually make the harpoon gun, what you need for it is you need a lot of prerequisites. You need the ballista turret as well as the ballista arrow to be able to craft the harpoon launcher, which is a big difference in comparison to the crossbow, which you only require the bow as a prerequisite. Now, as well as that, the resource breakdown of the harpoon launcher requires you to have 40 wood, 60 fiber, 25 hide, 120 metal ingots, 60 cementing paste, 50 obsidian, and 30 polymer. That is a lot of resources for this weapon, and it does not have a lot of durability, probably the same amount of durability as the crossbow. So you have to take that into mind when you're planning on making one of these things. Now that is just the cost for the actual harpoon launcher. In comparison to the crossbow, the crossbow only requires several metal ingots, 10 wood and 35 fiber. That is a huge difference in supplies in comparison to the harpoon launcher. So take that in mind when you're thinking about building one of these. Now in order to build the actual bolts for the harpoon launcher, you need a lot of resources for that as well. You need 14 metal ingots, 14 wood, 20 thatch, 5 flint, 20 fiber, and 2 cementing paste. Now that is a huge pain in the butt to get all those ingredients for a spear bolt that does an extra 120 damage on top of the regular stone arrow. That only requires you to have 2 thatch, 1 fiber, sorry, 2 fiber, and 1 flint. That is a big difference in terms of resource cost. Honestly, the Harpoon Launcher is looking less and less more like a decent weapon and more and more like a sponge for resources. So that is just for the base trank, uh, sorry, for the base bolt. Now for the actual trank 
bolt, you need the spear bolt itself, so everything that we just said, as well as a tranquilizer dart and three narcotics. That is a lot of materials to make a trank that does double the amount of a trank arrow, when essentially all you need is one narcotic, one stone arrow to make a trank arrow for the crossbows. Honestly, in my personal opinion, based on everything that we've just said, the trank bolts for the harpoon launcher are definitely not worth the cost in comparison to using the crossbow. It's just not worth it. The crossbow does 157.5 torpor, whereas the harpoon launcher did 306. That is essentially double the crossbow. Essentially though, you would still be saving a crap ton of resources on the cost of the weapons because the harpoon launcher would require a lot more materials than a crossbow would. Now we're going to quickly take a look at the effective range of the two weapons. Obviously the harpoon launcher is going to fly underwater. I think we got the hit marker there. We're going to fire another arrow just to see. Yep, you can see there the hit marker is coming up. If we keep falling back though, the crossbow will go just as well. The only difference is that there is a little bit of a drop off with the crossbow launcher in comparison to the harpoon launcher, but you know, that's nothing too major. Honestly, there you can see that it took a while for the actual thing. I think the crossbow actually travels underwater faster than the harpoon launcher, so do take that in mind as well. But honestly, I don't think the harpoon launcher is worth it based on what I've just told you. And you barely see any blueprints for higher leveled harpoon launchers, whereas there are always blueprints for higher level crossbows and whatnot. So I would definitely recommend getting a crossbow instead of the harpoon launcher, and definitely recommend using the harpoon, sorry, the crossbow over the harpoon launcher. I honestly do not think that the harpoon launcher is worth the materials and the resources it takes to maintain it. However, it is your personal opinion. If you are planning on using it for, you know, underwater raids or, you know, running the caves, Feel free to take this, the Harpoon Launcher, it could save your life, you know, you, that extra bit of damage that you could do could be the difference between life or death. It all comes down to your personal opinion. My personal opinion is that the crossbow bolt, the crossbow is in its own right just as good and perfect for taming underwater creatures and dealing damage underwater. So that'll pretty much conclude this video for today guys, let me know what you thought of it down below, let me know if you'd like to see more of these comparing the weapons, but other than that, thank you very much for watching and I hope to catch you in the next one. Got this soul.